Howdy, Howdy Spyro fans! Get ready to have all your flesh melt off your body and then get sent to heaven. <laughs> magma cone, everybody. Everybody hungry? Tuck in for a magma cone. <sighs> oh. Sorry, tongue. Ah, I think the video is looking extra good for me today. I think I think I use like a new encoding method. Oh. Uh, so might even even and that combined with the new GPU, I think the video might look extra good even. You've tightened up those jaggies, I see. Oh yes. So, so this level is the companion level to Fracture Hills, also with fawns. Hey fawns, it's fine. It's just a little magma. Just a little drizzle. <laughs> Whatever, yeah, Greg yeah, sucked yeah. anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it's all fine. Whatever. It is my time to die. <laughs> Alright, so... In the, in the pre in the previous like I talked about climbless like that climbing is not necessary yeah. and in the in the original two actually you could um, beat magma cone which has a lot of climbing a lot of ladders you you could beat it climbless as well and this is the the method that we used then like uh, magma magma cone actually uh, that does not have like very high um, Boundaries. Yeah. But, so with a, with a simple double jump, you could pretty much get a, get anywhere, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, not that the double jumps are that pre not super easy, especially this last glide jump. It's quite hard double oh. jump glide because you want to get right on top of the volcano to close it and Ooh. finish the level. So we want to try and do something similar. Um, without the double jump, right? Without the double jump. So what we definitely, what we definitely do need is 90 minute thing and the 30 frames per second jump boosts. <laughs> okay. uh, with that, we can we can we can still uh, we can still skip that ladder, which is very important because if you fall into that pit, you're screwed. You have to quit and quit and restart the level. <laughs> um, and we actually want to get two enemies. It's actually pretty important that we okay. kill two enemies, and we have some T posing. That's a little funny. Um, the most of most of this the sequence is if it if you fail you have to start over, um, which is doesn't it's not necessarily like time consuming. It's just that it's hard, especially that jump. Looks yeah. I made it look easy, but it's not that easy. You really need the ninety minutes thing. You're and then now we're out of bounds. Oh, and yeah. then there you are. in the other bounce zone. And then there's, there's this blind jump. That's actually, and then you can kind of get dragged <laughs> up here, and my God, this, but this is all still like feasible. Like you, and then you, you want to get like here. Just jump around a little bit. Yeah, kind of like a really blind jump. Like and literally blind jump. Then we want to jump here without hitting the lava, because actually it's very important that Sparks is yellow. But here's the trouble: is this this. I made this glide jump there, but it's really not easy. Yeah. Um, actually, it's not in one sequence anymore, as you might know this. <laughs> is that I couldn't get this in one sequence as much as I tried. And the final trick is oh. lava boosting. That's why we need gold sparks to get up there. And because we killed two enemies, the flying portal is activated. It actually just weirdly required two enemies, and then we can oh. just fly to the talisman. Bada boom! End. Don't even need to seal the volcano. <laughs> right. Yeah, that seems very reasonable. You're right. No problem. Yeah, that was all. That one all went really fast. But the point point of the thing is, I, I showed the entire sequence, but I didn't do it in one yeah. sequence uh, because I, I had only so much time. Yeah. <laughs> I spent I spent a decent number of time uh, number um, amount of time on it, but it was just too. <laughs> Just too hard to get in one go. I did all of it legit, but it's just that you know. I suppose you're here for the party. Uh, I'm glad you you found a good spiral life balance, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> I sh I showed how it works at least, right? Yeah. yeah. The theory is sound. It's just a matter of if somebody at home wants to practice for 90 hours to get that jump in one go, then by God, good good luck yeah, to it's, you. It's, it's, like the the point of the thing is, you can beat Magma Cone climbless. Um, it's just not easy. But you can't. 
Let's I go. have a member that. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah! The HD version. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that growly frog does. Yeah, so that's back. They they told they did not screw that up. Like they could have easily like removed that weird, super weird thing, but they did not. <laughs> they embraced the super weird thing. Yeah. Well, you can't get past that guy, it's impossible. Yeah, the Earth Shapers, the Earth Shapers are still invincible in, in this level 2, but they conveniently put them... Three, hey, where's my gem? That's... <laughs> He's juggling! The, that's... Hey, I could Rude. really easily lose my gem that way. That's not okay. <laughs> you, and that's how you, you never get to properly finish Spyro. Yeah, I can't... What if I can't get 100%? You deserve to die. That, that fun was a champ holding a giant magma bowler over his head for that long. Yeah. Hey, you maybe, it's, maybe it's the same one from the intro. Yeah. That's why he wasn't <laughs> concerned. He's actually fireproof. <laughs> He's actually fine. Yeah. Yeah, the Earth Shapers are invincible, but they're all conveniently placed next to an X that will insta kill them. So. Hmm. You know, I don't is. think Earth Shapers have very good uh, sense of self worth. No, even if you if even if you push them in the other direction, they will walk back to their original spot. <laughs> and I'm like, no, no, this is this is my spot. Please finish me. Oh, well, that's that puts an interesting <laughs> ankle into their lives. Yeah, sorry, I I darkened your spire, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Your shaper euthanasia. Let's well, what, what, what is worse than them pushing them into the lava and them solemnly saying goodbye, or this uh, torturous, or maybe not torturous? They die quickly, but they they die they violent, kind of, violently. Yeah, they violently and kind of self-assistedly. It's weird. Basically, rock monsters are emotional TNT. So watch out. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Big Earth Shaper move. As for the real Magma Cone level, um, it's, it's it's pretty compact as yeah. well. Uh, so we're just going around a circle in the surface area, and then there is the hidden ice area, and there's and then there's the volcano area. Where's the ice volcano? That's a thing. They exist. I mean. Unlike small moons in outer space, but they exist. Oh, that would be cool to see in the video game environment sometime. Yeah. I think IO has some ice volcanoes. Why not? Oh, buddy. It's time to go. <laughs> it's time to get baited. Oh, smashing that rock. Are these guys but in jail? That's why they're smashing rocks. Let's, let's just postpone the execution just for a little bit and check out this feller. <laughs> Fella holding up. He's so strong. Very strong, but very struggling also. They just don't have the will to commit to execute their earth shapers. <laughs> <laughs> just a second, buddy. I feel like feel like the, the ball would hit him no matter what, but okay, we'll get him on the X. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, he was totally doing it anyway, but... Yeah, now now they're doing the happy dance. Oh, yo. The fun is one you'd become an accomplice to murder. This oh one, God. the most violent of all. <laughs> he just jackhammered his spinal call. Oh. Well. Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't think the Fonz actually need your help, man. Yeah. I just need a little push. They were already set up pretty well. <laughs> Magma Cone a little bit weird in that like there's it has like this thing the fewest enemies out of any main level. Really? Yeah, I think like we already beat all the regular enemies in the level. I think we're at nine or seven seven wow. to nine. Yeah. Yeah, there's usually a little more uh, filler enemy here and there. Perhaps that's why the flying thing only requires two enemies defeated. Yeah. Well if it isn't my best wow. customer. If it isn't oh, I'm not going to be a customer today, buddy. You 
can have unlimited use of the elevator for a one-time fee of only a few gems. Awesome. Mm. A few gems. Uh, 200 is not a few gems. There's no elevator in the entire world that's worth 200 gems. I don't care if it's an elevator taking you to the orgy at the top of the Sears Tower. It's not, it's not worth it. Well, lucky for us, this elevator we can completely skip. Good. It's like an Illuminati trap elevator. Look at that thing. Yeah. <laughs> or one of those uh, indoor parachuting places. So before we go to the to the volcano area, we want to finish up here because we we, we can we can get back, but, but you can't normally get back okay. unless you do like a, do like a trick. Um, so we want to finish up here, and we still need to find the hidden ice area. We just like I don't know exactly like. Doesn't, it's like on the other side of this cone. Okay. But I'm not sure. Like, there's no like obvious path to get here. <laughs> okay. Is it intended to get to ice area? Yes. Yes. For sure, it's intended. Okay. The way I went there, I don't think it's intended. I think it's just. Well, you you you, if you explore, you can find it. But yeah. Okay. I don't know the the critical path how you're supposed to <laughs> no it's designed to get there uh, see but do you really want to come here really yeah we, we want to come here for the gems not so much for hunter <laughs> but this area is super pretty in hd that's for sure uh jeff what is what is hunter doing there is he just well, chilling out he seems to have two orbs for us <laughs> okay so we better talk to him Spyro, check out this cool cave i found it is a cool game. cave. Every so often, a piece of this crystal popcorn pops out of the ground. Uh, First one to grab ten of them wins. Chris, <laughs> blue right. crystal popcorn. Yeah, uh, a race. Oh, right huh? in, in, in the original, well, this was well, not very Are fun. This was very frustrating. And I think it's it's mostly the same are. here, but I think I just maybe just got better at better at it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So the thing is, you know, you can see when they're when they're gonna pop out out of one of those middle spots. Yeah. And you can, so you can grab them. Predictively em. run there. Yeah. And you can grab them right in front of Hunter's face. You even yeah. get an achievement for it. Yeah. And that's how you. That's that's the easiest way to beat him. It's just kind of follow follow him around a little bit. And just be better. Yeah, and then take take all the ones he wants to take. So it, so then. Um, Okay, yeah. you win. Ten to one. Into a zero sum game. I win, you lose, Hunter. Nice orb. But it's unfortunately, or I guess unfortunately, there is a second part to fifteen this time. Um, how about five stars? Because we're trying stars? to save the world, Hunter. You just give us the orbs. Yeah, we are kind of trying to save the world. Um, Hunter does become a lot more aggressive and faster to pick up the, the popcorns in, okay. in the second sequence. So yeah, it is, the second tight. sequence is definitely harder. It's definitely worth the five stars, I suppose. <laughs> um, well, it was a tight race. So if, if, you just if you beat him out. Yeah. You're really good. You kind of just want to. You kind of want to jump games. right right yeah, before they're gonna pop up, so you so you, you grab will. them as they pop up. Otherwise, Hunter grabs them as they pop up. Hunter, you get nothing. Yes. You hit Savage in the face. <laughs> no reaction, but it was <laughs> relatively painless. I was not looking forward to doing this because of the bad memories in the original, but it was relatively painless. I mean, you Too conquered painless. the mighty mon minecart. This this is nothing like crazy. Yeah. And if you don't want to do the climbless trick, there is another way to get out of bounds and skip the ladder. It's using the ladder, the climbless, uh -huh. of climbing, and then doing a backwards long jump to get back to the spot right here, out of bounds. So, you know, climbing or not, reality will be violated. Yes, the ladder, will, the, the lift, the elevator will be skipped. <laughs> Ladders, maybe. Elevators, never. Then I uh, oh. failed that jump, but no worries, we can just fly <laughs> where we need to. It's fine. Oh, it's the bottom of the elevator. Yes, and the funny thing is, when you get to the bottom of the elevator here, it comes down. Oh no. Uh, oh, and I, for, for the jump, I need to say 30 frames per second, so I'm changing back to 60. No. <laughs> um, yeah, the elevator comes down, which is funny, but it doesn't actually work to go back up. 
Oh. It's, it's still not functional, but I guess it's just programmed to come down when you're near it so that yeah, you could go back up. I guess. But no worries, we did everything. Volcano. We finished everything up there. Now we're in the volcano section. Alright. Oh, there's some uh, wiffle balls flying around. Fantastic. Ah! Yeah, normally with the... Um, the, with the climbless skip in the beginning that I showed off, um, the lava balls are, are are falling down, which makes the, the the lava stream where you get hit three times to jump back up it makes it makes it a little bit more tricky, like that. Yeah, um, I can see why. But yeah, you really have to mash X during that sequence, or it or it becomes, or you don't have enough height to actually make the jump. Oh, it's just like the uh, the intro to Monster Hunter World right here. Yeah. <laughs> this is the what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to just climb up to the top and then it just weirdly automatically closes and uh, um, Give him respect pods. He pose for the respect. Yes, sir. I'll dab at your command. He seems pretty nonplussed at I mean, uh, He's taking it back. <laughs> You okay, buddy? I'm not sure what happened, but... Uh, that dead look. Those cold, dead eyes. Okay. Thanks for the talisman. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Alright, buddy. He's not even on the ground. He's still... No, he is. Okay. At least he's, he's not floating. <laughs> yeah. He looks fine. Just got a little bit of that good kush in him. Like a lot. Or a lot. I uh, never been so high at Tipos. I got that. Oh, he sounds very upset about this. Another five-star sequence. Oh man. Talk to this to this fawn here, hey, Cheddar, and Cheddar. Uh, some lava monsters appear. Gotta take out all 15 of them, which is a little bit annoying. That's a lot. With the that's, with the flying. That's maybe too many. Yeah. They're they're invincible to charge or flame attacks, so you gotta use the the lava balls that are kind of floating around here. That looks legitimately kind of hard. Um, it's it's um, my aim is, is is really bad here. Like I do I do better from now on. It's just okay. You just gotta get, find your groove. You just gotta aim aim up well because you can't triangle aim while you're flying because pressing triangle will make you hover. So I just gotta get close enough, line it up, and 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 it will hit them. Deliver them directly. Uh, I said 15, but there's 12 of them. There's 12. No. <laughs> so yeah, I skipped some of it because it's you know it's just we're, we're get the taking idea. out a couple of balloons, cutting all the gems, and just finishing up these these hey, fellers. You saved the party. Here. Cardi on, Cheddar. Cheddar? Cheese balls? Oh, I cheese balls. It. Well, it's good to specify in this life. Or specialize, rather. Yeah, the morphs. That's right. And, like, using flying with the ladders here, it's, well,. You see some funky stuff there, but it doesn't okay. it doesn't do have the same effect, I think, because you're supposed to have flying close to the ladders here, so I think they gave the, gave them gave this ladder or should I say like a boundary box. Yeah. But as we and if you want to escape from this section without the elevator, oh, there you, go. you can use flying. Press mash X here and don't bonk because we, we actually the flying power up disappeared and if we, if we bonk we're done. But oh. <laughs> I mean if we don't bonk, we have infinite flying. Yeah. Oh, very interesting. Thank don't you very bonk. much, game. <laughs> what could we see with this? You played yourself. <laughs> you should never have let me fly. Actually, I'm not 100% sure if it is infinite or if just the bar disappeared and the sound disappeared so that if it, that just it's timed and eventually... Because it's a pretty long timer if it just eventually quits, but yeah. anyway, we can just fly around this level out of bounds as much as 
almost as much as we want. Um, we can go visit those other little islands. But if you go too far, like, see, now now it ended. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm not 100% sure if it's a timer or not. Then we have this giant blue box. What is that all about? What's is that? that what the that in there? Oh, nice. that's where the ice section is. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> in case you pee through cracks, you want to see blue. And we see the elevator going the all the way drilling itself? down. The titular cone? Yes, that's the Magma Cone. <laughs> and then finally, we, we go down, and we've seen this a lot before, right? We just go out of the skybox and get trapped forever. But this yes. one, this time, there's a little bit of a oh. surprise. We have an oh. orb! Hey! We have a they are real! A single orb! Just the one. The other orb did not survive. Yeah, I think that's like the Autumn Plains Orb or something. I don't know why it's there, but it's there, so <laughs> great. It's reassuring either way. Yeah. This is actually one that, 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 that I... This this last trick here is one that I posted back in... When I first played the game on PS4 when it came out. Wow. Um, but like, it's nice to still do it again. <laughs> Feels nostalgic, man. Now they can party. <laughs> Dude! You killed him. Ah, no one will know this. <laughs> Man, Fawns are murderous little bastards. <laughs> in, the, in the original, it's, it's a little bit different. They were doing high fives instead. Oh. Instead of like the big old chest bumps. Well, not a failed high five anyway. <laughs> You screwed up that hard. <laughs> yep, alright. That's right. what happens, everybody, with the field high five. Never trust a fawn. <laughs> They'll stab you right in the back. Alright, everybody, bye bye. Never forget, audience, never trust a fawn. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>